finally ready to send out this important email message. Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today, I wanna show you how you can recall, undo, or delete an email message that you already sent in Microsoft Outlook. Here I am in Patty Fernandez's inbox and I sent her this email, but I just wish I could take it back. The good news is it is possible. Let's check this out. Back in my inbox to recall this message, let's click on the folder that says sent items. And here I see the email that I wish I could take back. Double click on that email message. Once it opens up, up on the top ribbon in the center, you'll see a menu with actions. Click on that. Here now you see an option that says recall. Click on that and that opens up a prompt and you have two different options. You can just delete the message or you can make tweaks to the message and then send out a replacement. I'll simply delete the message and then click on OK. Here now I see a confirmation message telling me that it attempted to recall the message. If your ribbon looks like this or the simplified ribbon and you have no idea how to get to that action, over on the far right hand side, click on the ellipsis or the overflow menu. And right here, you'll see a category for actions. And once again, you can now recall your message. Here I am in Patty's inbox. And just like magic, that email message has completely disappeared. That was a really close one. Now, this seems like the perfect solution but unfortunately, it doesn't always work. First off, both you and the recipient need to use Microsoft 365 or Microsoft Exchange. So if, let's say you send an email to a Gmail account, this won't work. Both you and the recipient have to be in the same organization or tenant. So if you send an email to someone in a different company, it also won't work. The email message also has to be unread. Also, your recipient has to be using Outlook Desktop. If they're using Mobile Outlook, or if, let's say, they're using Outlook on the web, they will still receive the original message, plus they'll get a message saying that you wanted to recall it. And that's a surefire way to draw more attention to the original message. Oh, and lastly, you also have to make sure that your recipient has this setting turned on within Outlook. It's the default, so chances are they will. <laughs> so basically, this may or it may not work. Now, I know it sucks to send a bad email message. And next, I wanna show you a trick that you can use to make sure that you could avoid this problem in the future. Here, back within Outlook, to get a little extra safety when you send out a message, let's go up to the top tabs and click on Options. Here on the ribbon, there's the option to delay the delivery. And right here, I can set a time for when I want this message to go out. So maybe I have it go out 10 minutes after I click on send. I'll close out this prompt. Now I could click on send the message. And let's say I wanna go back and tweak something before it goes out. I can click on my outbox and here I see the message. I can go in, make changes, and then click on send again. And the message won't go out until it hits that time. As a really fun aside, you can also use delayed delivery to send out emails really late at night and then also super early in the morning. This is pretty much a guaranteed way to make your coworkers think that you're superhuman. <laughs> uh, but it's probably a bad idea. It, it'll probably just hurt the team's work-life balance. You can also set up a rule to automatically add a delay to every single email that you send. Let's say maybe a buffer of one to two minutes for all outgoing emails. Within Outlook, click on the Home tab, and in the middle of the ribbon, let's click on Rules, and then select the option that says Manage Rules and Alerts. This opens up a prompt. Let's now click on New Rule. This opens up the Rules Wizard. Let's select the option that says On Messages That I Send. Then click on Next. And here we can define any of the conditions. Now, I want this to apply to all of my outgoing messages, so I won't check anything, and then I'll click on Next. Here, I get a prompt confirming that this will apply to all messages. Let's just click on Yes. Here, I can define what I want to do with the message, and I want to delay the delivery. 
Right down here, I'll check the box next to defer delivery. I'll click on this link and I can specify how long I want to delay it by. And I can choose anywhere between one minute all the way up to 120 minutes or two hours. I'll type in two minutes and then click on OK. Down below, I'll click on Next. Here, I can now choose whether there should be any exceptions, and I don't need any, so I'll just click on Next. On this last screen, I can now type in a name for this rule, and I'll type in Delay Sending Emails. Then, I'll click on Finish. One thing to call out, this rule only applies to this version of Outlook on this computer. So if you use another computer with Outlook, or if you use Outlook on your phone or on the web, this rule will not apply. So just keep that in mind. Here in Outlook, when I click on send, the message will now show up in my Outbox and I can now tweak it or make changes to it and then hit send again and it'll go out after the defined amount of time. So in my case, two minutes. Within Outlook on the web, you can also undo sending email messages. In the top right hand corner, click on the settings gear, then go down to all Outlook settings. Here, click on the category titled Compose and Reply, and then go down to the section that says Undo Send. Here, you can add a five second buffer or a 10 second buffer. So not quite as much time as on desktop. Here now, when I send a message, this prompt appears in the bottom left hand corner where I can click Undo within let's say a 10 second window. All right, well, since you made it to the end of the video, I wanted to show you a fun visual that shows you when most people check for errors in their emails. That's why this video is so important. To watch more videos like this one, please consider subscribing. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Whoa, whoa.